Hello, uh, James here from Master Concept. I'm here to show you an interesting scenario in Nick's panel. Actually came from a colleague who asked me the question. So this is of course a demo data set. I wouldn't show personal information here live, but let's do an example question where my colleague asked me, is there any way to show a percentage of users who fall within a certain cohort? Well, let's kind of go from the ground up here and try it out. I'm actually kind of going off and winging this question to show you how easy it is to kind of think about this process and put it into your own self-serve analytics. I'm not using a template. I'm not using, you know, magic. It is simply just following this kind of methodology here. So the first question kind of involved a cohort, right? It was percent of new users who did something versus those who did not. So what I'll actually look at is looking at my user list Users who signed up, of course, they have a profile. Uh, let's do, I already had it there, but let's do those who did sign up. And within seven days, let's see if this works in terms of the demo data set, if it's there. If not, I can use 30. Then let's also add a second filter who did something. So I think there's a trade or start trade or Let's look at different events here. This is a demo data set I haven't actually used yet. Let's take the events. Add currency could be a good option. Buy crypto with card, complete registration, confirmed crypto purchase. How about that? Oh, earn rewards is a pretty good one too. Uh, uh, how about confirm crypto purchase, right? And I'm gonna put then, cause it's the same time period. So I signed up. Within seven days, I did a crypto purchase, right? So last seven days, and within those last seven days, they did at least one crypto purchase. Great, so 491 of my users signed up and then did a crypto purchase at least once, right? Great, let me save this as a sign up to purchase within seven days. Again, the naming is whatever. Uh, it could be awkward, but let's just keep it that. Now I wanna see percentage of my user base. So I could do one of two things. I'll go to insights first of all, and I'm gonna take a couple things first. Let me just plot this cohort. Interesting, so I'm looking at this cohort over time, and this is again, it's a rolling window, right? So it's gonna qualify them over a period of time. I go back even further as well. Again, this demo data set is just a demo data set, so it's not going to be 100% realistic. We get this idea of how that cohort over time is growing or shrinking. I can also look at it in a sense of rolling, so I can see how it's increasing or decreasing over time. And that's fine. But if I want to see a percentage against my actual user base, I can do it in one of two things. I can count all users and add a cohort there and, and, and kind of do this user window of seven days or I can actually go to my profiles view. I have all user profiles here. Add a second one, add a comparison, those in that cohort. You can see here, it's a very small amount. That's fine. And I can also take percentage. Okay. Now what's interesting here is that's all profiles, not just those who signed up, but again, profiles are those who definitely signed up, right? So I can also, again, uh, filter by a proxy property, for example, that had a, va a variable, uh, whether or not they're actually signed up, for example. But all those in the profile in this scenario would be signed up. So it's kind of a strict, a, a strict uh, comparison here. I can do a, an easier one if I do, for example, sign up and did not purchase crypto within seven days, right? Let's just put this as X, Y, Z, because I don't have time to name it. And I go back to the insights report, profiles, add two profiles, filter by that cohort and filter by X, Y, Z. And guess what? I have a pretty clear comparison between those two cohorts. Great, ciao.